What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. I know, right now, full screen. Look at us. Beautiful as always. Um, but today, what we're doing is we're opening up some packs of Crimson Invasion. I actually did two pre releases past weekend, and I was going to record a vlog, and then I forgot to do it. So there's no actual pre release pack openings of that. Uh, we did pull two Cortana, Cortanas. Uh, the little steel type thing. Uh, don't worry, Saturday or Sunday, we're going to cover Crimson Evasion. Uh, I could cover it right now, but I'm still looking at the set and learning what everything does. I want to make sure I give a full detail report of what I think is what's good, what's bad, all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to hold off until we see the full report. Um, but for those who don't know, if you don't follow the Snapchat, Snapchat's Marketing22. Um, we played in another League Cup this past weekend, and we made top eight. So for... Two weeks in a row, we won the League Cup and got top eight, which now gets us 75 points. But this coming up weekend, I'm actually going to two other League Cups, trying to get another first place, hit that 100 points, and I try to max out the first uh, quarter of League Cups and uh, just trying to go for that Worlds of Light. You're going to start grinding really hard to get that Worlds of Light because I really do want it. And I, I, 400 points doesn't seem too hard. We've done 500. Uh, we've done 300 multiple times. So... 400 is not so bad, especially when you win two League Cups every quarter, get 100, you win, you do that four times, you get you, you get your invite. Um, but it, if, if at least get 75, if you get 75 every quarter, that's 300, and then you have to get 100 points off regionals, which is not too bad, because now with top 256 getting 30 points, it's realistically not too hard to get it if you uh, play competitively and smart, and you, you're, you're able to travel a lot. Like, I'm going to a lot of regionals. Um, uh, hopefully, because I'm going to, uh, let's see, Memphis, Collinsville, Dallas, uh, Charlotte, or Raleigh. I can't remember which North Carolina it is. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, I'm going to Portland. I might go, might go to Madison. Um, maybe go to Vanc uh, Toronto, or Van whichever one hasn't happened. If it's Toronto, I think it's Toronto that hasn't happened. Maybe Vancouver. I think it's Toronto though. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to a bunch of regionals. Why not? Might, might, might as well fly out and have some fun while we can. And uh, we're gonna try to max out every quarter and stuff like that. I mean, if we once we max out the cups, if we can max out the cups somehow, uh, which I mean you can't max out the cups to like May, so definitely still gonna hit up all the regionals. Just try to get my to get the world's invite. Um, but then there's also the, the international. So there's so many different ways you get your invite this year, which is really nice. And definitely because definitely it's in uh, Nashville. But um, when we got top eight this past weekend, we actually got packs of Crimson Invasion as our prize support, which is really nice. So congratulations. Shout out to the to the TO. All right. So um, I don't even know how many you get, but let's let's open this up. Let's see how many packs we get. So we got one, two, three. We got six packs. Oh, my goodness. So get a top eight, got with six packs. I don't know... All the Ultra Beast name. I'm going to be 100% honest. I do not, do not know their names. Uh, so there is uh, Caballion's brother. Okay. Oh, there's the Gratana card. This is one I pulled two of, which is really, really good. I think it's really good. This GX tax really good, especially in pre-release. Uh, there's uh, Guzzlord. I can't remember his name. I don't know. The Dark type legendary. Oh, there's Buzzlord. Buzz, Buzzhole. Buzzwall. I don't know his name either. Oh, look at that. He's beautiful. Another Buzzwall. Okay, so we got two of the Buzzwalls. And then another uh, Caballion's brother. I think this is like um, Type Null or something. I, can't, I don't know his name. I'm so bad at the Pokemon names. So let's open up some of the duplicate packs first. All right, so one, two, three. So we got six. Uh, so we'll open up Caballion's brother first. And we'll see what gets us. Now, I don't know the trick anymore because I don't really open packs. Um, so let's see. I'm try to throw the code card to the side. And that way we can't... Because I, I know y'all can like see a way or something. So I think it's three and then two. And let's hope this works. It might not focus like I want it to. Alright, so there's a Mankey. A Rimrain. A Shellos. Uh-oh. A Bunnelby. Magikarp. A B drill. I think I did it wrong. Did I do it wrong? Yeah, I did it wrong. Uh, B drill. Oh, a counter catcher. This card is actually going to be really interesting to see in our format. So uh, let's see the focus. I don't know how to make this camera focus, guys. If you're new, if you're new to the channel, then you know I have problems doing this. I have a counter catcher. You may play this card only if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. So your opponent has six, and I mean five, and you have six. 
Uh, you can use Countercatcher, and it's just like the old catcher, or like Lysander, or like Guzma or something. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with your active Pokemon. Uh, so this is going to be played in some decks for sure. It's definitely a really nice card. If your opponent does get up on prize cards, that would be something uh, really interesting to see how this is going to work out in the format. Uh, but let's keep going. So there's a Hauntor. There is, oh, this is Sea of Nothing on this, which is actually kind of interesting. Um, special conditions are not removed when Pokemons evolve or de-evolve. Uh, so your special condition deck, you play four or see if nothing is, and you kind of get around that. Uh, and then it's uh, a Scavular. A Scavular I played a lot in the League Cup. It's really cool uh, to use a second attack, 130, and do 30 to yourself uh, for your attack. And then the last card was a Fairy to G. So maybe if I go, so I did 3-2. Um, I don't, I don't know the trick. I literally, I'm, I'm stumped. I know some people watching this are like Squeaky. How do you not know the trick? And I'm like, man, I don't know. I, I, I don't know stuff anymore. But let's, let's open up Buzz, Buzz guy. I know this is the fighting guy that does 30, 30 snipe like good old Landers Yex did if you played back then. Uh, but let's set the code card to the side. And oh, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, so it goes. It goes four and two. Okay, I cheated. I know what I'm pulled, but whatever. All right, so it's four and two, it looks like. All right, it's a Dino, a Shellos, a Corpfish. I wish I would focus. Come on now. Machino. Oh, my goodness. That card just died. What card was that? What card was that? Oh, another Magikarp. Lovely. Another little Magikarp. All right. So Psychic Energy, Pillow Swine, a Diggersby. Uh, Hakamo, uh, Reverse Milotic, and a Registal. All right, so uh, I think I did that right. Yeah, so it looks like it's four and two. <clears throat> so next one, we're gonna we're gonna do this right. Probably not. We're probably still mess it up. I really want to save this one last because I like this guy. He's fat like me. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. I'm actually save this one as well because I like this one. So I'm gonna open up with another Boswell and Cabalion's brother because I don't really know too much about these cards. So we're gonna put. The code card to the side. Uh, let's do. I think it's four and two. I hope I did this right. All right. So I didn't look this time. So Care Blast, uh, Skiddo, uh, whatever that thing is, Machino, whatever. The, what is it called? Yeah, Chim Chimchow. All right. What, what? I don't even know what Pokemon is. This is Mischievous. I can't read it on my screen. All right, but there's Mischievous. Look at that beautiful. Right, there's a Stuffle. A Fair Digi, a Chinchino, a Zuelos, Pillow Swine, a Reverse Rim Rain, and a Red Dry. Is there a Red Dry in this set? I haven't seen one yet. If you have any Red Rock in play, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Stage 2. Alright, cool. So make it where Stage 2 Pokemon can't hurt your Registeel or Regirock. Alright. If you have Red Rock in play, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage. Done to this Pokemon. Oh, done to this Pokemon. So Red Dries can't take damage if it's if there's a fighting if there's a Regirock on the field. Pretty interesting. Uh, I guess if you can make somehow a Registeel, Red Ice, and Regirock deck. I can't remember what Regirock does. I think it gives Registeel more damage, if I remember correctly. It still doesn't seem that good though. Uh but open up another little little ant boy, little buzzwall, whatever his name is. Alright, look guys, you're gonna learn real quick. I don't know. I don't play like the PT uh, the, the video games at all, so I don't know um stuff. So let's do one, two, three, four, two. We're learning. We're learning here together, guys. Alright, so there is a mischievous, a cacnea, a Lolan Geodude, Stuffle. Pumpkin Boo, too bad it's not good. Uh, Lightning uh, Fighting Memory, which is actually be really interesting. It has, so, Savali so GX. That's what it is, Savali. So That's the Cavalian's brother that keeps saying Savali so GX. Uh, when you attach it, it makes it a fighting type. So basically, with these tool cars that are releasing, they're going to make like, several different ones. And uh, when you attach it to it, it becomes that type. So it would be really interesting to see how that plays. And this meta, when you can make it at any kind of type and hit for any kind of weakness, which is really cool uh, thing mechanic that we're going to see. Basically, reminds me of Arceus almost. Uh, a Laron, a Psychic Memory. So there we go. We pulled a Psychic and a Fighting in the set. Uh, Reverse Primate and a Starmie. What's Starmie's ability? What's during your turn before you attack? and may shuffle this Pokemon all cards attached to it into your deck. He only has 90 HP. If Starmie had like 170 or something and made it like really impossible to knock out, 
That'd be really cool to see, but since it doesn't, uh, it's kind of unfortunate it only has 90. It can easily be knocked out. You can't really abuse its ability too much. Uh, but let's go 4 and 2. Come on. Alright, so we got this pack and one pack left. So hopefully we do something, maybe. Uh, the Mischievous. Cacnea. Alolan Geodude. Stuffle. Uh, Pumpkaboo. Ooh, uh, Steel Energy. Uh, Gastrodon, Gastrodon, Zuelos, a Devourful, what does this card do? The attacks of Dark Pokemon and Dragon Pokemon do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Huh. So, okay, we're going to give Dark a little bit more love. There's, they don't need it, okay, like I need it more. Our uh, Reverse Mischievous, and, oh my goodness, oh, that's actually, uh, pretty bad. <laughs> oh my goodness, alright, so it's a hyper rare, um, it's a hyper rare guess Gyarados GX. It's actually my second one I pulled. Not not hyper rare, but I pulled a Gyarados earlier uh, in my pre release packs. Uh, but Gyarados GX got the Waterfall 70. Uh, what's that attack called? Draconic Disaster 100. If there's a Stadium card to play, this attack does 100 more damage than this card, that Stadium card, so 200. Uh, but it needs 5 energies to do 200. And Dreadstorm D GX, discard energy from each of every opponent's Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, still hyper rare, beautiful. Um, it could be worse. It could be a hyper rare baton pass. I know that's in the set. Um, but yeah, still a collectible card. It's Gyarados. Who doesn't love Gyarados? Actually, you know, one thing we need to do before we open this last bag is see what, is see what Magikarp does. I don't know what Magikarp's ability is. Um, I know we pulled some. Let me just go read Magikarp's ability real quick. So, as long as Pokemon is your, on your bench, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. Pretty interesting. Uh, it's got the water, uh, Waterfall Evolution. Uh, for its attack, but it needs a water and a DCE. Oh my goodness. Uh, search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon to evolve it, then shuffle your deck. So basically, you search out a Gyarados, but it needs three energies and only has 30 HP. I don't know if Magikarp's going to survive that long uh, to become a, a, a Gyarados. But here we go. Last pack. It is the uh, Gooselord. Or, I forget his name. I, I don't know, guys. Sorry. I apologize. I apologize that I don't know these guys' names. This pack's really hard opening, so maybe means something good in here. All right, so let's stir that to the side. Let's do four and two, and let's start the party. All right, so this first thing first. I am so happy that they made this Pikachu. They finally made Pikachu fat and lovable, just like me. Uh, so I'm glad they seem to make another uh, chubby Pikachu. But Houndor, uh, Jigglypuff. Swine up. Oh, I took two cards. Sorry. Uh, a Swabaloo. Fighting Energy. A Dashing Pouch. It's a pretty interesting mechanic. I uh, will definitely cover it later on. A Hauntor. Uh, a Luzamine. A Luzamine. Put two in any combination of supporter and stadium cards from your pouch to your hand. So it's kind of like VS Seeker. It'd be really interesting to see how this mechanic is going to work. Because um, you definitely are like, I'm just going to play another supporter card. But if you're to play like four Guzma, four in, four Sycamore. You could could the could you could include this card just to get like a Guzma Lake game or an in that game. Um, yeah, your opponent knows you get a supporter card, but still it's gonna be really good to like get back your supporter cards. This is no VS secret in the format. Uh, there is a reverse Skiddo and a Mammoth Swine. But still, I mean can't complain. We did pull a uh, hyper rare Gyarados, so that's pretty nice. Uh, still got a hyper rare. Not complain at all. Uh, definitely especially because it was top eight packs. Like top eight, we got six packs. Um, so yeah, and we pulled a counter catcher, and I think counter catcher is going to be somewhat valuable. I don't know how many of you are going to play in your deck. This is my third counter catcher. Um, but yeah, um, besides that, like I said, on, on Saturday or Sunday, I don't know which day yet, we're definitely going to go over the new set. I mean, as I opened up packs, there was literary cards I have not seen, and I played in two pre releases. So I need to look at the cards and see what's all of the set, and make sure I give like the best detail I can before we start covering the uh, new set. But guys, there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And let me know what you think of the set down below. What is your favorite card from the set? I still think Cortana is my favorite, but that's also like only the one of the few I've seen. So I really don't know. Uh, so leave me some feedback down below what your favorite card is. And that way, when I record Saturday's video, I could talk about them a little more. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great Wednesday. Alrighty, bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.